Hey everybody, this is room 301A in the Advanced Technology Center at CPCC. There's a lab out there I actually made a video about last week or no, a few weeks back. Just walking here. I'll show you guys the computers in this classroom. I made a post on my Q Computer Facebook page earlier this week about these things. And obviously you can see something that's not right here. These are brand new computers. These are Dell Precision T1650 systems. DB burner up front. Two super speed USB 3 ports here. Two USB 2 ports here. Windows 7 Pro was originally installed on them, but it's say um, since we're in the um, school, they have a volume license agreement with their operating systems. Most of the new computers have Windows 7. These are Intel Xeon systems with 16 gigs of RAM. And if you look over there, you might be able to see on the back of the computer, there's a video card in the thing too. These have video cards in them too. Not sure what kind of video card, but I will find out here in just a moment. Most of these are in sleep mode. I just want to show you guys something here that really disappoints me. As I mentioned, most of the new computers that got installed this um, for the spring semester got Windows 7 Enterprise because that's um, what CPCC uses for their volume license agreement. So we're going to go ahead and log into this computer. I'm going to show you guys something. Obviously, you see it has Windows XP. And this is just regular XP Pro, no 64-bit no version. It's just your basic XP Pro. And I've logged into this one before, so I remember to turn on clear type. Normally, you wouldn't have clear type turned on. And look at these displays. They're, they're huge, very wide. These would be very nice for watching a movie, but if you, if you noticed in my recent video about monitors, I still prefer 4x3s. I mean, if they had a four by three about like this you could just imagine how much st stuff you could cram from bottom to top on the display these are still very nice though but I just want to show you something about XP's clear type look at this this blocky type on the displays always we're logged into this one and we should have some files still saved on this one that I downloaded I'm gonna pull up the system properties and show you something I can't show you the registration code. This XP Professional Service Pack 3. And look at these specs. Here's your CPU. It's Intel Xeon. E3-1240 V2. 3.4 gig. I think it has like a 3.7 or 3.8 gig turbo too. And of course, it's reporting here 3.4 gigs of RAM, but obviously there's a problem here. See, if you haven't noticed before, 32-bit architecture can only address about 3.5 gigs of RAM. And of course, there's a lot more memory in this computer. I think I believe I mentioned earlier, 16 gigs of RAM for crying out loud. I'm going to go ahead and Pull up CPU Z. I download to this computer. This very handy little program tells you some good information about your CPU, motherboard, memory, graphics, that kind of stuff. Right now it's at 3.8 gig. So 3.8 gig turbo. Either that or it's just overclocked. It's running as it states 3.4 gig, but it's running at a 3.8 gig clock right now. It's just a simple multiplier change, but surprisingly, this bus speed is only 99, well, 100 megahertz. That's kind of surprising. Look at this cache. Lots of cache on this processor. Of course, this is a server processor, by the way, if you don't know. It's a socket 1155 Ivy Bridge, 22 nanometer. That's smaller than the um, FX8120 that's in my mid-tower deluxe. Of 
course, Dell motherboard, Navi bridge chipset, 16 gigs of DDR3, 1600, at least that's what it's clocked at right now. It's capable of doing even more than that. So it's PC3 12800. Four, four gigabyte sticks. NVIDIA Quadro 600 graphics. I mentioned these computers do have graphics cards in them. And it's a real, it's, it's a, a real shame to see these computers running Windows XP. Because Windows 7 has DirectX 11 support. XP only has DirectX 9. The DirectX 10 come out when Windows Vista come out. So these computers are being extremely hampered by Windows XP. I mean XP is really an operating system for older computers, not to mention it's going to be timed out of support within a year from now. I mean it's April 2013. Support for XP will completely expire in April 2014. My battery's starting to get low, so I'm going to go ahead and log out of this computer. I'm going to go show you guys something. And here's one of the computers that's actually up on the table, so it gets you a good look at it. These are extremely nice. There's the onboard graphics, probably Intel graphics. There's a the graphics card that has DVI and DisplayPort out. It's the NVIDIA Quadro graphics. This one is actually. I believe in sleep. This basic run mill power supply. Not sure who manufactures it. It's got an add a fan, so it might be a light on. Let's look at the front. Now I'm gonna walk across the hall. As long as there's no students in 301 B, I think that's I think that's the name of the room. I'm gonna walk over there and see if there's any students in that room or not. You can hear the look at this nice lab. They actually got some new equipment the other day. Anyway, let's walk across. Is anybody in there or not? Actually, this is room 301F. The exact same yeah, Dell Precision yeah, workstations class, uh, running Windows 7 Enterprise 64 bit. Okay. Exact same computers. Not the same monitors though. So yeah, those those computers. If it wasn't, if there weren't students in the class. I go demonstrate one for you. But there's students in the class, so I'm gonna walk over to 301A. No, actually 301C. And of course, there's another look at the lab. Let's see, I don't think there's anybody in 301. See, this is another one of my classrooms. These computers are different. Yeah, here is 301C. This classroom has Dell Autoplex systems. Really slim systems. These are Autoplex 9010. Core i7 systems. So both these are very nice. Yeah, both systems. These are running Windows 7 Enterprise. And let's just go ahead and log on and see what kind of memory these have and everything. Get you a CPU Z screenshot and everything. Since there's nobody in the classroom right now. Yeah, CPCC spent a lot of money on their computers this semester. Man, it just amazes me that they're running XP on those computers in 301A. And of course we have some like AutoCAD software, some measurements and the solid works. There's multi-sim on these two.
Here we go. What's this 32 bit? I had to download a 64. Core i7 3770. Socket 1155, so same socket. Also, very nice CPU. This one here runs at a much smaller clock. It's actually power saving options going on right here. This is normally a 3.4 gig CPU. And of course, here's your motherboard. Only 8 gigs of RAM in these. Still nice computers though. Intel HD graphics that are using all more graphics. So these aren't as powerful as the ones in the other room. But they are still nice computers. But yeah, that just kind of it's kind of strange, I'd say, that the computers in 301A are running XP. Xeon systems with NVIDIA graphics and 16 gigs of RAM running XP. Now, I asked my instructor about why they're running XP. She doesn't know. Not very sure. I'm going to walk back over here. Here's one more look. But yeah, if the students were not in the 301F room across the lab, I'd do a little demonstration of the Windows 7 on those computers, but there are students in there right now, so I'm going to wrap up this video. One more look at these computers. I mean, these monitors are huge. I think these are, no, I think they're the same size. I may have mistaken the ones in the other room, the 301F, as being smaller, but I think they're the same size. All these monitors are very, very wide. So anyways, any questions or comments, feel free to ask and thanks for watching.